Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Minecraft new Nintendo 3DS Session Let's Play video. And this is part 97 of my Let's Play series. We're getting so close to 100, only two more left to go after this, and then we're at 100. In the last video, we made it to the end and activated the end portal. If you guys didn't see that from the last video, here it is, all activated and ready to go. In this video, we are going to be doing the base in the stronghold. We're not going to be going to the end in this video quite yet, but in this video we're just going to be doing some base work in the stronghold. As you can tell, I do have a lever and a piston on me, and that's because um, someone made the suggestion that I had to get, in order to get to the, the dragon egg, I had to get a piston and lever to break it. So I decided to do that, and I did have enough materials to make uh, levers. I made an extra one by accident, that's why there's two. And the piston, I did mine a little bit um, on another part of the stronghold. Because there's also a cave system around here in the strongholds, like down here around that corner. There's like a cave system. So I was able to acquire a few pieces of redstone and I threw the other, and I just threw what I acquired away. But we are going to be doing the base in the stronghold today. And that's why I have the bed with me because let's start by actually doing that right now. I'm, I'm going to do it out here. So I want to break this. I'm pretty sure this is from me. Because when I did come down here, I think I came down here here, but I'm not really sure. But I am going to break all of this. And I'm also going to grab this so I don't waste my pickaxes. And break all of this. Well, the game's a little bit laggy for some weird reason. But that way I have enough space right here to actually do the base area. So let's start by making the bed over here. And that way I'll respawn here and I'll be right next to the end portal. So let's do that. Let's set my respawn point. There we go. Let's see if it's actually... Oh yeah, it is nighttime because I'm sleeping. <laughs> I also do not have any spare ender pearls either. Hmm. Well, um, as long as we can get the ender dragon, that's fine. I hopefully won't have any complications with this. Um... But yeah, definitely won't be able to get... Oh, I mean, I could get some in the actual end itself for ender pearls because there's tons of endermen everywhere. So that probably won't be that big of a deal. But still, kind of a minor annoyance, but that's that's okay. And I think that's it. I think that's pretty much it. Just the bed and maybe I'll block off the side areas just in case there's no mobs. Even though there's plenty of torches, I don't want mobs to come in to this area there we go and I only have two torches as well I don't think I really need any torches going into the end I really don't think I would need any but just in case I mean well I have one <laughs> but I like I said I don't think I'll need any because you know Enderman spawn no matter what light level it is in the end so but yeah, uh, here's the status of the end portal. I mean, maybe we should take a little quick peek, I guess. I said we weren't going to go in the end this video, but we need to do something else. So I guess we can take a little quick peek. Oh, I can't go back, though. But that's okay, actually, because I already placed the bed, so we're fine. Um, yeah, I was worried there for a minute. Like, oh, no, we can't go back. I can't peek in the end. But actually, it's fine because, I thank God, I placed the bed. Oh, I do have a crafting table. Okay. Well, um... Oh, I do have wood. It's birch. Okay, I just noticed that. That's weird. <laughs> I remember myself bringing oak planks, but I don't know why. All right. Well, um, I guess we can travel over to the island, and I'm going to make myself a little ho uh, hut to be in. Ooh, I already see Enderman. Let's crouch. And again, if I die, the bed's there. And like I said, I should have placed a chest, but I'm going to need everything anyway, so why place a chest? And, and Endermen are completely harmless unless if I look at them or hit them. So as long as I just pay attention at this part with the bridge making, I should be careful. Uh oh, and we made it. Let me make sure I actually have enough space before I don't... Oh, do not look up. Okay. I'm going to look down, and I'm not going to spawn the Ender Dragon. So I'm going to just stay over here on the edge of the end. Because there's no health bar that says Ender Dragon yet, so I'm still in the clear. And I really don't want to be in the Ender Dragon fight right now, because I'm going to start that in the next video. And it may take long enough to where it may be a two-part 
as part of like part 98 and part 99. I'm just clearing out some end stones so I can actually have it in my collection as well as clearing out area to make a little hut. I don't know how far I need to go in order to activate the Ender Dragon, but hope I'm just going to stay at the edge of the end just for safe precautions, because you never know. I'm going to make a little doorway too, so if I need to, for some reason, go back to spawn, I can. But this is not going to be a big uh, little house. It's just going to be just big enough, just so I can have protection if I need it. And the good thing I did bring enough cobblestone to do this, because, well... Now I can actually do it. And I can protect myself from Endermen too, because if Endermen end up coming after me while I'm getting the Ender Dragon, I can just come right in here, block off the door, and we'll be good. Or block off the, uh, yeah, because I may make another, another, uh, another entrance on the other side. So I don't have to worry about falling into the void on this side when I go to enter the house. Alright, so it's, again, it's not me very big. I wouldn't really even call it a base, honestly. I would just call it like a little protection area just in case if anything goes wrong I can just come in here or if anything goes wrong if I die I can just come in here recoup my food bar oh there's an enemy right on top of the building better close it up <laughs> all right let's make a door on this side and make a little cavity so I can actually enter it um, so there we go that is pretty much it and is there anything in my inventory that I don't want? Well, I definitely want to keep the piston and the lever somewhere that I don't... Because I want to have a, uh, the least amount of stuff in my inventory as possible. That way, if I do die, I have to worry about less stuff when I go to collect it. So if I just make a chest like I just did and place it, I can throw some things that I definitely will not need on my end journey. Like the wood... The extra armor, probably not, because if I do need a change, then I can just do it, like, you know, definitely won't need that. What else will I not need? I won't need this, 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 or any of that. Now, the pickaxes, I'm not going to keep either, although I may need some pickaxes. What's this one? That's the efficiency one, I think. I'm going to put my diamond pickaxes away, but keep the iron ones. But not all of them, because I have three, and that's too much. <laughs> Alright, and the Iron Sword, I'll keep it just in case. Definitely going to keep the uh, Instant Healing Potion and the Golden Apples. I'm going to keep all sources of food, and also I'm going to keep actually all the blocks that I have. Because I need to actually make my way up to the End Crystals. And the only way to do that is with blocks, or I can just use the Bow and Arrow, but mm, sometimes you just need to... Uh, use blocks instead definitely will not need the axe and i think that's it sticks won't need them either if i'm not going to keep the iron might as well not keep the sticks and the enchanted golden apple is another thing that i will keep in my main inventory so there we go i am officially ready for the ender dragon now am i going to do that in this video like i said i'm not this is basically just going to be a final preparation because we made it, we're now in the end, there's no turning back now. And yeah, we are here. And there are Endermen all over the place. Oh, dang. Yeah. And remember, if I die, I'm spawning all the way back in the stronghold. So, there's one. if there's one thing I cannot do, and that is die in the void. Which, the chances of that happening are kind of slim. Because the Ender Dragon's mostly in the middle. And I, looking up... Oh, one's mad, one's mad. That's that's okay because it can't even fit through the door. Actually, this is a good thing because it, it can't even fit through the doorway. I can just kill it. Oh, Lord. And see, look at that. Didn't even go down in health. The armor really does something. Or, well, of course it does. Actually, it does help. Oh, look at that. And I was just complaining earlier that I didn't have any ender pearls. Well, oh, I thought that, was, that one was mad. All right. I'll just look up here. There's none here. So you can see all the end crystals. Oh, that one's mad. Oh, no, it isn't. Um, I do not... Oh, I do see the Ender Dragon out there in the distance. It's very faint. I, wow, the render distance seems a lot... Um, uh, more here than it does in the overworld. That's kind of weird. Oh, now I have two mad at me. Actually, this is a good way to farm Endermen. Because if I need Ender Pearls, this is actually a good way to farm them. 
just sitting here in a two wide doorway so they can't well i mean they can't hit me but with some careful you know hits they can't oh one died um it also dropped an inner brawl i just need to make sure that this one that i'm trying to get is gone oh oh there's two coming after me one of them died <laughs> This is also kind of a good way to source XP, but I'm, I'm really not going to come back here after the I get the Ender Dragon, so... Oh god, it's going to be dangerous to do this, but there we go. Back in. Two Ender Pearls already, just by doing that. Wow. I'm going to keep them here, because if I ever need to teleport in emergency, if I just have my sword, I can just flick the uh, ZL button, and now I have access to my Ender Pearls, so I can easily just use them if the Ender Dragon decides to do a splash attack on me. So, yeah... Um, hopefully this goes well. I did actually fight the Inner Dragon in a different survival world before this, not too long ago. So I, I, I do know how the Inner Dragon does act in this version, and it is di slightly different from other versions, like the Bedrock Edition, because this is Legacy after all. So it's, it is a lot harder, because obviously we are also on Minecraft 3DS, so... All right, that is going to conclude it for today. And the next video, the next two videos are going to be very interesting because that is going to be the final end fight. So we finally made it into the end of this video. Hopefully everything goes well. So anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.